Hey, welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel where I talk about all kinds of cool things you might be interested in that I'm interested in that I hope you're interested in and don't forget to subscribe if it is something you're interested in. So hey, today we're talking about what is called in exotic areas the limon no, or the, the lemon. Uh, this one is a type of lemon called Dr. Seuss fruit commonly. It's a gigantic lemon that I thought for sure would have been completely wiped out from that by now because of the fact that we almost had a hurricane uh, hit us recently. In which case, all the lemons go from the tree to the ground, or sometimes, you know, that way, you know, to, who, to elsewhere. But this tree has been a bumper crop producer, and as a matter of fact, it's one of the few things that does well in the salty irrigation in my yard. Uh, citrus don't like salt on their leaves. My sprinkler system is just a salt spewing demonic force so uh, you know that's a problem but this tends to grow through it it's just a hardier grower the lemon another one's a grapefruit tree that's one I've had great success with and I'm actually contemplating planting one right there I almost don't want to because I know that there's a limit to how much grapefruit anyone in this life can tolerate but it probably will do it anyway because I know it's gonna grow up it's gonna produce tons of fruit and then you know when it drops three yard can yard waste cans full of fruit uh, on the ground and nobody wants any more grapefruit, well, that'll be the moment where I start to reconsider my choices. But this lemon tree is wonderful. Each one of these lemons will produce exactly three glasses of lemonade. They will make any child who eats it for the first time make a funny YouTube pucker video, sour face video. They resemble green bocce balls at this case, very rigid. They'll become, they'll become ripe uh, right around Christmas time, right around December. So they're getting there. These could get much bigger if I took better care of them, but they generally get to be about oh, this big. And uh, so they're getting there. And you know, they take a lot of abuse too from the, the bugs or whatever, but they tend to to grow through it. This one's in, certainly in rough shape and there's all kinds of ways to approach a citrus tree. One way is to take good care of it. So, uh, you know, obviously I'm not really using that method, but uh, my method is keep it trimmed away from the house and uh, yeah, fertilize it. That's it. Now one other thing I want to point, about, point out about this is, yeah, they've got some pretty unfortunate aspects and by that I mean look at those thorns man these thorns will wreck your world oh can you imagine that thing will go right through yeah if I mistakenly make a stick myself with it by mistake man that be the first time that's a heck of a heck of a thorn now once you've removed a thorn like this uh, I feel like you're obligated to not leave it in a place where it can stick someone so I'll have to make sure I deal with that because we run around in our backyard and our bare feet quite a bit and when we do we prefer not to experience that so yeah that's the other thing is I just try to keep the thorns up so uh, since we play around here I need to cut this all off but also inventory what I cut off to make sure it all gets in the yard waste can the worst thing is to have a little piece of this laying on its side and then it's propped up so this spike is perfectly positioned to puncture the sole of your foot so yeah like with anything you know there's upsides and potentially downsides and we manage them but uh, I did cut down about a quarter of the fruit on here when I trimmed it back and that was a good sacrifice because now it's prepared for the wind and uh, I didn't really need that much fruit anyhow so I'd rather the energy go into into that oh look at that that looks like a <laughs> that looks like a lemon commercial or something that you'd see on the side of a delicious container of lemon based product Look at that thing. Anyhow, so the lemon tree is something worth having. It's hardy. It's good. Probably have, if you have a difficult growing environment for lemon, for citrus trees, it'll probably want to be one of the ones that, that get you better results than others. I certainly have enjoyed having it. My kids and I have made many glasses of lemonade from it. We've cooked shrimp scampi with it. We've experienced all the, we've laughed, we've cried, all the wonders of lemons that lemons can bring bring you hey if you like these kinds of videos please subscribe to eat your backyard my youtube channel where i do this kind of thing quite frequently 
If you like this video, give it the thumbs up. Why not? And I just want to say thanks for watching. Eat your backyard.